What's up, everybody? I just want to give a special shout out to our Patreon supporters who voted for this workout, and without them, this channel literally wouldn't be possible. If you want to make your voice be heard for future workouts and help support our channel, go ahead and click the link up top where you can find out more. All right, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a muscle building bicep workout. This workout uses multiple muscle building techniques that require you to have at least two pairs of dumbbells. You're gonna want one lighter and one heavier pair so that you can switch up the weight as needed. The weight that you will use will be completely dependent upon your fitness level. All right, let's get started. We're gonna start off with a set of bent over spider curls. So we're gonna choose a weight that's a little bit on the heavier side. We're bending over, performing a nice concentrated curl. We're gonna do four sets of eight repetitions on this one. So go ahead and bend over, feet are shoulder width, bend over on that 45 degree angle. Let those palms hang forward, arms straight down. Now curl all the way up to your shoulders and slow and controlled on the way back down. Making sure to breathe throughout. It's all about that control on this one. Palms stay up. Making sure to control that eccentric portion of the lift as well. Don't just allow them to fly back down. And if you chose a weight that doesn't allow you to stay under control, no big deal. Just lighten the load a little bit. Last one right here. Nice and control. Good. Okay, right. go ahead and set those weights down. We've got about a 15 second break and then we're getting right back into it. So throughout the course of today's workout, we're going to be mixing up the weights mm -hmm. as we go. Uh, make sure that you're choosing weights that challenge you, but at the same time, allow you to use proper form. Yep. All right, let's pick up those weights for that next one. Next set of eight. Again, keep that back straight, core tight on this one. All the way up all the way down those arms that upper arm try your best keep that upper arm straight up and down perpendicular to the ground and bring those palms all the way up to your shoulders getting a maximum contraction making sure to breathe two more stay under control nice and last one right there Nice work. All right, two Ooh. down, two to go. I have to say, I also feel this in my backside as well. Uh, well, yeah, when you're holding <laughs> yourself and you're uh, using your lower body for foundation, you're gonna feel it there too. It's okay, we'll call that a little bit of extra credit. Hey, I like it, I like extra credit. Nothing. Well, there you go, nothing wrong with that. All right, here we are, third set. Let's get into it, guys. Get those weights back up, right into it. Concentrate, and let's begin. Nice, full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Throughout the course of today's workout, I really want you to focus on what brought you here today to begin with. What is it? What motivates you? What drives you? Why are you working out? And that's going to be the thing that gets you through this workout. Because without that why, last one here, it gets harder to finish. Ah, nice. Okay, just one more of this first set of spider curls. This one can also be performed with an easy bar if you have access to it. Ah, shaking those arms loose, already starting to feel a little pump. Oh. Nothing wrong with that, feeling that's good. That's why I didn't go too, too heavy. Well, we got a lo long workout ahead we of do. us. Okay, let's get this last set of these spider curls in. Make sure you use those legs to help pick up the dumbbells. All right, let's hit it, last set. Again, nice and under control. Full range of motion. Keep that back straight on this one. Nice. Really control that eccentric lowering phase. No swing on this one. Just stay under control. Good, you got it. Two more. Almost there, stay tough. And last one, here we go. Ah, squeeze those biceps up at the top. Ooh. Nice job. 
Next, we're gonna do a killer superset. We're gonna go back and forth between a wide grip curl and a reverse curl plus wrist curl. So we're gonna do a set of 12, a set of 10, and a set of eight, working up in weight as we go. So starting Correct. with your lighter weight, doing the wide grip curl. So on this one, really, we're just pretending like we're holding onto a barbell and we have a wide grip on that curl. So we're doing 12 repetitions all the way up and all the way down, keeping those wrists nice and straight, full range of motion all the way up and all the way down. Again, this is gonna be your lightest weight of the three. We're gonna go back and forth between these two moves. And if you do have access to a barbell, feel free to grab it and grab it with a wide grip. Keep good posture, shoulders are back on this one. Core stays nice and tight. You got three more. A little bend in those knees, all the way up, all the way down, squeezing those biceps up at the top. Last one is right here. And done, good. Okay, you can go ahead and set those down. Next, move it into that reverse curl. So it's palms are facing down, elbows are in. Get to the elbows are 90 degree angle, and then curl with the wrists, complete the curl, and all the way back down. Again, set of 12, so a little lighter on this one. Work up in weight as we go. All right, next set, palms are down, elbows are in. So come up until those elbows hit a 90. Curl the wrists, complete the curl, and then finish. One of our goals in today's workout is to hit both bicep heads as well as the forearms. None of these muscles are getting left behind in this one. Again, stand nice and under control. We're really hitting an isometric, isometric contraction once those elbows hit that 90 degree angle. We're just forced to hold that position for a moment while we hit that wrist curl. Again, nice and under control. Not a race on this one today in this muscle building workout. Good. Feeling that burn start to kick in. It's all right, that's how we know it's working. It's just that lactic acid in our two muscles. more, guys. It's that muscle fuel that our muscles use. We just gotta push past that burn. Honestly, Last one. I'm using a five pounder and uh, And she's feeling it. And these are, uh, yeah, this really burns. <laughs> All right, so go ahead, <laughs> we can set that weight down. We have our next set of 10 repetitions. So move up in Increase weight, any, weight. Anywhere between five to 20%. You choose what is right for you. And again, we're moving back into those wide grip curls. All right, let's get started here in three, two, one. All right, nice wide grip. Control that eccentric portion on the way down, making sure to keep breathing. Good, squeeze those biceps up at the top. Control that negative portion. Don't just allow the dumbbells to flop back down. Halfway through. Good. You got it. One rep into the next. Every rep getting you just that much closer to your goal. Focus on it. What'd you come here for today? Feel those biceps Two building more. with every rep. Here it is. Nice and controlled. Last one. Squeeze and down. Oh, Good. Goodness. All right. Shake those arms loose. It's a quick break. Moving back into that reverse plus wrist curl. Another set of 10, adjust your weight accordingly. Let's get it started here. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, palms are down. Get that wrist curl in. Nice full range of motion. You can always tell where your weaknesses are because it gets so much tougher, even when you're using the same weight. And that's all right, because that means we're working on it. Gotta make sure we attack those weaknesses, not avoid them. Not gonna get any stronger by avoiding them, that's for sure. On this one, it's very important to keep those wrists nice and straight. We don't want spaghetti wrists as you come up on this one. Good. One rep into the next, you got it. Making sure to breathe and control that negative lowering phase. We have two more, guys. Fight through that burn, guys. Fight through it. We're burning too, come on. You got it. We can feel it working. Ah, nice. Last one, here it is, here it is. Get after it. 
Boom. And finish strong. Good. All right. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> terrible <laughs> and amazing at the same time. I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shake those arms loose. We have just one last set in this super set going back to those wide grip curls, this time just for eight repetitions. So this time, feel free to bump that weight up. Don't be afraid to go heavy. If you want to, want to build some muscle, you got to use some real weight. That's true. Here we are. Okay, last set of eight on these wide grip curls. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Nice and controlled. Good. And again, pretending like you're holding on to a barbell on this one so that'll affect your grip, right? Because you're going to keep those wrists nice and straight. It pretty much helps to focus on keeping those pinkies up and curled in and not, allow, not allowing your grip to change. Good. Control the way down and the way up. You got it. One rep into the next. Come on. Grind through it, guys. Almost there. And you have your last one coming up right here. Last one. Make it count. Nice and controlled. And the way down. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Feeling good. Feeling good. Come on, guys. Get that energy Ooh. up. We have just one more in this super set of the reverse curl plus wrist curl. Again, it's a set of eight. Going up in weight on this one. Maxing it out, doing what you can. Use my power blocks for this one. I love these power blocks. They're adjustable dumbbells. Uh, allow you to get a lot of different weights in and a small amount of space. There's a link available in the video description if you want to check these out. All right, let's get it. Last set of eight. And palms are down. Boom. Curl. And finish strong. There it is. One of the next. Keep those elbows in on this one. Wrists stay nice. Tight and locked. Complete that wrist curl on every one. Trying your best not to swing. I know as it get, your arms get tired. Halfway. It definitely becomes more tempting to use momentum. Just grind through it. Finish however you got to finish it. Right here. Come on. What'd you come here for, guys? What is it? What's your goal? What are you working on? Two more. Here it is. Almost there. Home stretch on this superset. Last one. Boom. Ah, here it is. Finish strong. Ah, control the Ooh. weight down. Nice work. Good job. Continuing on to the next superset, we're going to be alternating between forearm bicep twists followed by a kneeling hammer curl. So again, we're going to be doing sets of 12, 10, and 8, starting with our lightest weight for the first set of 12 and working our way up. Working our way up. So we have those palms facing forward. Go ahead and curl up until those elbows get to a 90 degree angle. Curl those pinkies in, all the way in, curl them back out, and then complete the curl, control the way down. So again, up to a 90. Pinkies curl in, back out. Complete the curl all under control. Breathe. This one is a great time under tension move. When we're talking muscle building techniques for the biceps, it's all about that time under tension, and this really accomplishes that. Good. Making sure to breathe throughout. Stay focused. Concentrate on every little part of this move. Hit every one. Again, eliminating any momentum. Nice full range of motion. It's 12 reps on this first one. Good, you got it. One into the next. Come on, you're a machine. You could do this all day long. Keep grinding them out right here, guys. You guys, you have two more. Almost there. Full range of motion. Okay, let's hit that last one. Boom, pinkies in, back and up, good. Okay, so for the next one, we're doing that kneeling hammer curl. So you should be able to go probably a little bit heavier on this one. And we're going to our knees. And the purpose of coming to our knees on this is it really uh, eliminates the temptation to use momentum and to swing back on this one. From the knees, it's a lot harder to cheat, basically, right? So good posture on this one. Palms facing one another. Just bring those biceps, I'm sorry, those dumbbells up to your shoulders and control the way back down. Again, 12 reps on this one. Nice and under control. Keep good posture. We're not popping them up, right? But instead, keeping it under control. You got it. 
one rep into the next. Feeling those biceps grow with every rep. Getting there, come on, getting closer to that goal with every rep. Everything you want is at the top of that staircase. And with every rep, we're climbing one stair up, one at a time, come on. No elevator up to that goal, no elevator Two to more, success. more, guys. Just gotta put in the work right here. And last one. Last one, control. Ah, good all right. work. Very good, set those dumbbells down. Shake out the arms, next set, set of 10 for each. Again, moving back into those forearm bicep twists. Shake those arms out. Not much of a break, here we are. Five seconds, getting ready to go. It's showtime. All right, palms are up, right into it. Ooh, these ones with the wrist twisting <laughs> are not my friend today. They work. There it is, one into the next. So, all right, working on our weaknesses today. Getting a little bit stronger, rep by rep. Fighting through that burn. Remember, you don't have to listen to that burn. That lactic acid kicks in. It's all about that mental toughness. That was the halfway point. Just pushing past, here it is. Push past that, that burn. You got it. One into the next, guys, almost there. Come on, fight through it. Good. Focus on what brought you here today to begin with. Two more. Whatever it may be. Come on, almost there. I'm burning too. Last one right here. Last one, finish strong. Ah, Ooh. Nice work. Nice, I like it. All right, I'm gonna move up and wait for these hammer curls on this next one. You choose that weight that's appropriate for you. Again, don't be afraid to Go a little heavier on these hammer curls. Your hammer curl should be a little bit stronger of a movement than let's say the forearm twist or some of the other moves we're doing today. Back down to the knees. Here we are for 10 reps. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Let's go, Hasfit Tribe. Where are you at? Let's start. One, two, it's 10 reps. One into the next. Control. You got it. That's the name of the game today. That's it. Nice and controlled. One rep into the next. Feel it working. Here we are. Come on. There it is. Halfway. Good form. No swing. Fight through that burn. You got it. Come on. Getting stronger. Every rep. What you got? Let's see it right here. Nice. Almost there. And last one. Finish strong. All right. Ooh. Just one more set of each of these. Again, we have a last set of eight of the forearm I think twist. I'm gonna borrow. Feel free, grab what you need. This one for my last set of hammer curls. Ooh, she's going up heavy. There we go. All right. Thank you, sir. And again, these little rest periods are totally necessary. If you've been doing some of our other workouts and you use the faster pace, sorry, but you need these longer rest periods so that your muscles can recover from uh, bodybuilding, muscle building techniques. That's true. Okay, that being said, it is time to go though. All right, here we are. Curl up, twist, and finish. The set of eight repetitions. Last set of these, and then no more. Come on. Finish this set strong, you got it. Again, fighting past that burn, learning to love that burn, because when you feel that burn, you know that it's working. Halfway point. That burn is the feeling of change. Change doesn't happen without being challenged. The muscles are being challenged right now, come on. You have two more guys, you can do it. If it were easy, everybody be fit, but they're not. Last one right here. Come on. Woo, all right, wow. feeling good, feeling good. Again, I'm gonna kind of push the weight a little bit here mm. on my last set of hammers. We encourage you to do the same. Last set of eight repetitions. Couple deep breaths, shake those arms out. Getting into position, and again, it's eight reps. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Zero, let's hit it right here. Didn't say it would be easy, but it will 
and be worth it. Putting in that work day after day, just getting Halfway. that much closer to your goals. Come on. Boom. Stay under control. You got it. Squeeze Two those more. biceps up at the top. Almost there. Fight. Last one. Fight, fight, fight. <sighs> ah, oh, nice work. Fighting there with you. All right, we're finishing up with a burnout round. We're going to do Zotman curls, which is palms up on the way up and down on the way down. We're not going to count any reps, but we're going to do 60 seconds. We're going to start off with the highest weight that you can perform, four to five repetitions. If you don't have a heavy enough weight for that, that's okay. Just use the highest weight that you have. And as soon as you can't complete any more, set that weight to the side, immediately pick up your next lowest weight and keep grinding them out. For so we're the gonna, full 60 seconds. For the full 60 seconds. So again, not counting any reps, just boom, 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 boom. So we have our heaviest weight here ready to go that we can perform. Because we're gonna burn it out with you. We're gonna burn it out with you. All right, palms are up on the way up and then they're down on the way down. We got 30 sec. I'm sorry, 60 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Palms up at the top, flip those wrists over and down. Again, getting as many repetitions as you can in this 60 second time period. Just a complete burnout set. Giving it everything you got on this one. Breathe one into the next. When you can't complete any more, go ahead and set that weight down and move on to your next lowest weight and keep moving. Good, come on, everything you got on this one. One right into the next. Come on, getting as many reps in as you can. It's all mental in this burnout round. Come on, keep it moving, let's go. You're about halfway through, guys. Just stay focused on what brought you here today to begin with, using the best form you can. Come on, let's go. Where you at, Hasfit Tribe, where you at? Come on, thousands, maybe millions of us at home doing the same workout, feeling that same burn you are. Just give it everything you got. No holding back. Come on. Let's go. One right in the next. Almost there. Come on. All right, guys. You have about 10 more seconds. Last 10 seconds. You got it. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. <sighs> Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, zero, and done. Oh. Ah. Ah. High five. Nice work out <laughs> there, guys. Thank you so much for pushing yourselves with us today. If you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, we'd encourage you, please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this particular workout with us today, we ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you never miss another new workout from HasFit. Make sure to check out HasFit.com where we have hundreds of free workouts free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you are on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, find HasFit because we want to connect with you. Thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.